going to show you how to make a lumber pillow for your dad for Father's Day. For this, you will need two pieces, two rectangular pieces of fabric. I'm using upholstery fabric today and an HTV decal, some embroidery thread, a needle which has a large eye, some dot pins, your sewing machine, if you're going to use the sewing machine, your heat press, some pillow fill, and a scissor. Okay, let's get started. First step, I have my decal, the HTV decal. I know you, uh, you can't see it. Well, it's upside down for you. It says it's a dad thing. I'm going to place it on my fabric. I have my heat, uh, heat press ready, the easy press. I have it for 340 Fahrenheit for 40 seconds because this fabric is kind of closer to um, the canvas kind. The fabric is a bit uh, rough. So I'm going to go ahead and place my heat press right where it covers everything. check no needs to be heat pressed again it's done you take this away take this out take your piece of cloth and rub this well Remember, this is cold peel, so you're going to wait for a couple of seconds before you remove the mylar, which is the carrier sheet. Now we're going to go ahead and slowly see okay our next step I'm going to switch this off put the heat press aside okay we are going to do some embroidery so for this you're going to use your embroidery thread and then you're going to use the needle which has the big eyes so i have this ready there's a knot here i need to see how to put a knot you'll make a loop around your finger twirl it push it you have the knot so let's go ahead and get started okay before that Whenever you're doing, it's always good to have exact amount of uh, thread you need. So what, I'm, what I did was just go ahead around this mustache. It doesn't have to be exact, just a little bit extra. Go. Keep some extra few inches and then take your thread. That will be the thread you will need. So I have this here. So you're going to go ahead and start from one area. So I'm going to go ahead and just feel it from where it's coming. If you need, you can use a thimble. Okay, right. And I'm going to along this. As you can see, embroidery is done. I'm going to show you how to secure the knot and finish this. So you're going to take your needle and weave it 
through this stitch. This is the bottom part of the design. I'm going to leave about four inches gap so that I can fill fill it uh, fill this pillow with the pillow fill. I'm going to put this good sides facing each other. I'm going to keep this on top. Put two pins here for placeholder, and then a couple more pins. Now, just stitch this. Make sure your thread is under the foot and behind the foot. Remove the dot pin as you start. is done before you turn it take this edge and snip it so when you turn around it's not bulky in this corner don't get too close to the stitch now we are going to turn this around This is your pillow. So now the next step is going to be we need to fill the pillow fill. So we have this. If you don't have pillow fill, you can always take one of your old pillows or even a new pillow which you don't really use, open it up and take out the pillow fill from that. In fact, that's what I'm doing today. And then we are going to go and fill this pillow. So that you're going to close this area. Take your sewing machine. You can either use your sewing machine or if you want you can do it with hand. It's a little bit tricky when you're doing it with the sewing machine because it's right now it's going to be stiff.
hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos.